It is showtime. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Mama? Yeah. Okie doke. <laughs> Don't you take it so seriously. Well, it is a serious show. Well, I wish those guys weren't staring at me all night. Oh, yeah? I've been, yeah, I'm uh, getting very uncomfortable with them. They look alive to me. They look alive to you? Well, they yeah, are alive. Start. Well, not oh. if you don't oh, hold on. Your, not if you don't stick your hand where it belongs. Uh, but, bing. <laughs> ah. Hold on a second. Why don't you hang them on the wall? You see where you have those? I don't think they'd appreciate it too much. Hey everybody! Cousin Kurt the Frog here! Hi cousin Sandra! Looking Hi, great Kurt. with your piano. Kermit, is it Hermit? Kermit! Oh Kermit. I'm Hi. your cousin. Oh, hi, From Kurt. Leland, Mississippi. Okay. Nice. Well, I think I think we met the family when I was in Louisiana. I I I, I just I, I had a little something in my teeth. I'm trying I know. to get it out. You have to learn how to do that. <laughs> so it doesn't look like you're moving your mouth. I, I can see how Jim Henson wouldn't want you around. You you wouldn't be. Uh... Well, and, what, <laughs> and what about? You know Jim Henson? Well, I've heard of him. Uh, yeah, he came to visit me a lot uh, when I was in Louisiana. Oh, really? Well, uh, I'm about to start the show, uh, Kermit, and uh, I appreciate you coming out here to say hi. <laughs> Why don't and, you bring him back later and you can do the rainbow song? Well, uh, how do you feel about that? Oh, I don't think I'm ready for that one. I travel a long way to get here, Cousin Sandra, so I think I'm just going to pass. So I'll, I'll put Kermit in the wings, and let's begin this show, shall we? All right. <clears throat> to do a little way Marie I feel like swinging one hard really? you yeah. now yeah get that mic in gear here and let's uh how we all doing everybody okay okay here we go let's uh, uh Oi, Marie. Oi, Marie.
Oi Marie. Oi Marie. Oi Marie. When the sun shines, so that's a good day. Connie Francis Tarantella there. Connie Francis? Yeah, I think she made this one famous. Oh, okay. I'm not uh, mistaken here. Let's see. I'm in a little bit of an Italian mood, I think. Oh, are you? Yeah, just slightly. Okay. It's a good mood to be in. Yeah. Uh, uh, lucky, lucky, lucky me. Godfather Waltz, I found it. Oh, uh, did you? I was reviewing all my repertoire. I'm only, I only got to uh, the first two sixths six of it. <laughs> but I uh, came across it and I, ah, I knew I knew I had that. I don't know the whole thing yet. Now somebody gets but, killed during that. Well, yeah. do, uh, do okay. the, uh, uh, the Godfather thing. Love oh, thing. oh, oh, oh. Right? I'll try. Okay, let's see. I have to think. Speak softly, love. Hold me warm against your heart. I feel the words, the tender trembling moments start. We're in a world of very own. Sharing a love that only few have ever known. Wine colored days worn by the sun. Deep velvet nights when we were one. Speak softly, love, so no one hears us but the sky. The vows of love we make will live until we die. My life is yours, and all because you came into my world with love so soft and low. Good day. 
days Worn by the sun Deep velvet nights When we are one Speak softly, love So no one hears us but the sky The vows of love we make We'll live until we die My life is yours And all because You came into my world With love So softly Love You want to do Vachina Mare while we're on the, the <laughs> point here? <laughs> Vagina Mare Vage Mamora Accorda Corda Vage Sposa So Mare Nava Et vira rezza, nora da rezza, stanga mari. I have but one heart, oh this heart I give you. holding the orchestra with his hand and he takes his hand out of the glove and the glove's fell down. <laughs> it's an old thing. Oh. Anyway, all right, so where were we? Uh, now, I got a couple of things here. I was investigating um, some of my favorite uh, TV show themes. Uh, let's see, we are right here. Hold on a second, just checking, just checking. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, now I got two themes here I want to play. Um, this one I'm only gonna play a little bit of. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, dokey. All right, now um, it changes keys like about three times, but I don't have the other sheets. And this was all I found. And okay, this is the Seinfeld theme actually, and it was written by Jonathan Wolf. And uh, I just recently got turned on to Jonathan Wolf's work here. Uh, very. Um, improvisational like he writes uh, TV show themes and improvises them like you'll see he had a, for actually uh, he got a call from Jerry Seinfeld as the story goes and he said uh, I got a problem I, something I don't know about the music didn't fit somehow in some way so he he listened to the way Jerry delivers his comedy and he he timed it out I think it was like 110 or so I don't know what it was on the metronome he has like a sing-songy style so he made the he stayed out of his way, he didn't make anything, no melody instruments to kind of get in his way. And he just gave like a bass thing, and I'm going to try to, I'll, I'll, I'll give you what it sounds like here and see if I can do it here. I'm sure you will. I'll try my best. Sorry. 
Okay, something like that. Anyway, so I, I heard that one, and then I, actually I heard the second one that I, I, this is the Will and Grace one. And that's what kind of turned me on to his way of composing. The Seinfeld one, he has to write, every time Seinfeld does a, did a new episode, he had to write a new version of that theme. That's like just the basics. Anyway, so uh, now let me see if I can get this one. I'm trying my best here. This is the Will and Grace theme. This one's a little bit more involved. Uh, let's see. These are just teasers, just the, I want to work on it. It's a nice little theme. Uh, okay, so that's that one. <laughs> I'm also working on some westerns. Westerns? But I want to get my hats. Because I, I like all those. You have enough hats. These are just the beginning. That just got oh. me started. The I like uh, uh, Bonanza. Little Joe. <laughs> like a, that's a hoss. And... Uh, um, Bonanza, Gunsmoke, and uh, Big Valley, and my favorite uh, theme song, which I, I didn't get, it's a very, it's hard to, I gotta somehow write this one out, but it's um, The Wild Wild West with James West with uh, Robert Conrad and uh, Ross Martin. Uh, <laughs> all the things. I'll work on it. I have to figure it out. That's just a little teaser. Uh, so what about you now? What oh, about me? Oh, so now I heard I heard um, on Facebook, Engelbert Humperdinck uh, was celebrating the birth uh, I guess I don't know if it was of, of a song which also was of his career which was called Release Me. So we're going to try Release Me. Should I take this? And uh, Cousin Cheryl, stay tuned because we got a ring of fire for you after. But yeah. First, we're gonna do "Release Me." Now, my mother is going to do the sing the melody. She's gonna sing Engelbert's part, and uh, he does something very interesting in this song. He there's four verses, and he sings the fourth verse a tritone away from. The, we start out in one key, and he does it in like a tritone way, and it's so dramatic, and he hits all these high notes, and it's about being released from this relationship he wants out. So it was just such a thing. I could see why it was such a big hit when he, when he did that uh, up like that. So let's see if we can uh, get this right. Now, which one do I do? You're going to sing verse 1, 2, and then I'm going to sing the first part of 3. Okay. And the, the, sec the second part of 3, and you sing in the, in the middle lines. Just to lines. let you know, I'll probably forget. Well, try not to. I'll try. But, you know. We had no, barely a rehearsal on this. Let's see. I'm, I'm feeding Dr. Okay, you ready? Now let's, now, let's try to do our own interpretation. This is very sad. He wants to get out of this it's relationship. It's a very sad song. Yeah, it's a very, it's kind of a sad song. He says some pretty, uh, okay. pretty pointed things to the poor lady. Okay. You know, you'll see. <laughs> right? Anyway, let's see. <laughs> Please release me 
let me go for I don't love you anymore to waste our lives would be a sin release me and let me love again That's our journey. Okay, right? yes. Yes, I know that, Larry. <laughs> you don't need to tell me that. <laughs> All right, so now, for Cousin Cheryl. Oh, yes, Cheryl. And we had barely well, I got up and I have to get it. You don't have it? Well, I have to get it on the phone. Oh, I'll kind of find it then. I'll take, why don't you just talk? I'm, I'm going to talk. Let me, or maybe I'll play. Uh, I'm going to play a little bebop tune here. Okay. Uh, this is a little tribute to Sonny Rollins. This is going to be, um, I'm going to play, uh, Olio. Let's see here. Um, uh, let's try this one. Okay. Let me get a little beat on here too, I think. I'm going to move for a little tempo. Uh, Thank you. 
those songs. They really cook. The, the bop heads, be bop heads. Yeah. Uh, okay, where are we? Okay, well, are we going to try this, Cheryl? This is our first time trying this. And we try a lot of stuff. We just try and yeah, try and try. And try. We're pushing it. ourselves it's, forward. It's, you it's lost the lyrics. It's, it's yeah. When, uh, you want to use mine? Well, how can I use yours? Uh, I got it written out. Lyrics to Ring of Fire. Uh, if you can see it, you got your glasses on? I, does Did it you read look this? like I my glasses? Oh, yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah, I got it right here. It's two verses, right? Well, whatever it is, I'll uh, do let's it. Let's try it. <sighs> We're going to do it together, aren't we? Is sweet. Well, then you just something I don't have it. It says something love is sweet. Oh, poor, the taste poor Johnny of love Cash. is sweet. The taste when that's it. Try it right there. The taste, the taste of love is sweet. I got it. One, two, one, two, one. And it on my heart's like a overbeat. Our I can't read it. You have to read it. Read it. What do, you, what do you mean read it? I don't understand what you're talking about. I can't see it. I got the music in front of me. I got the lyric just so I can follow okay. you. But you have to sing The taste of love is sweet. But there's a 2-4 bar. It's, I, I, whatever how you feel it, we'll just do it. Because we'll have to do our own arrangement. Right. Okay. The taste, taste of love is sweet. When hearts like ours meet. Leave it right there. <laughs> <laughs> packed into a few moments. Mm -hmm. All right, so how about we do something we know? Well, that would be nice. We're trying to please everybody. Yeah. What do you want to do? What are you in the mood? Oh, I wanted to do, I wanted to do, um, Life is Just a Bowl of Cherries. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if I know that. Well, it's really simple, Larry. All right, I'll try to follow you. All right, you better be strong with the melody then. You okay. start. Life, life is just a bowl of cherries. Don't take it serious. Life's too mysterious. You work and you slave and you worry so. But you can't take the dough 
when you go, go, go. So keep repeating, it's the berries. The smallest oak must fall. The sweet things in life to you were just so. So how can you lose what you've never owned? Life it's just a bowl of cherries So live and laugh at it all to the world, you said. Yeah, how about, how about the Quanta Le Gusta first? We went through all the Latin tunes that we know. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I got Latin tunes on my brain, things I'd love to do, but we're just not ready to do them yet. <laughs> I'm going to write them out, and then we'll just put them on right. the, what do you call it, the, uh, the workplace here, and we just plow right through, right? Hold on, I see a sign. What's that sign? Let me see. Okay, uh, make comments full screen. Uh, no, I don't need to do that. <laughs> okay. What? That said to make comments full screen, but I don't know quite how to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, where were we? A quantum booster. Really booster. Pull a little samba. A little samba on there. Uh... <laughs> Now, did you say I can't stand you because can't I stand. because I will be out of the frame? You'd probably be out of the frame. I mean, I could see it right here if you want to try it. You want to try to stand well, up? Well, I want to see if I could stand You're up. You're not the tallest gal in town, you know, so you might be able to stay in frame. Go ahead. Okay. Looks like you're still in frame. I am. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. Close. Oh, uh, let's see. Have to do I don't have anything to, well, maybe I can hold onto this. Well, I wouldn't grab anything if it's going to fall. I'm sorry. Run away, pack up 
your past. Back up your past. And if we stay, if we, stay we, won't come back. we won't come back. How can we go? Haven't got a dime, but we're going. And we're going in a happy time. What the hell is that? No, no, I'm not dancing. You're going to move around? No, I'm not moving around. That oh. was it. I just wanted to get up a minute. Poets often use many words to say a simple thing. It takes thought and time and rhyme to make a poem sing. With music and words I've been playing for you I have written a song to be sure that you know what I'm saying. I'll translate as I go along. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let 
Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter or Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. with song and let me sing forevermore you are all I long for all I worship and adore in other words please be true in other words of you Uh, Mrs. O'Wiggins, uh, can you please uh, come in into my office and uh, take a dictation, please? <laughs> uh, you wanted me to come in before? Uh, yes. I was just waiting. It was nice if you could come in on a schedule, if you don't mind, uh, Mrs. O'Wiggins. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> secret love and lived within the heart of me all too soon my secret love became impatient to be free so I told a friendly star the way that dreamers often do 
just how wonderful you are and why I'm so in love with you. Now I shouted from the highest hill, even told the golden daffodil, last my heart's an open door, and my sweet love's no secret anymore. such a cute song and maybe some of you remember this song lavender blue dilly dilly lavender blue green if you were king dilly dilly I'd be your queen who told you so dilly dilly who told you so? I told you so. Dilly dilly, I told you so. There might be more to that, but I don't dilly remember. Dilly dilly, huh? Yeah, maybe. That had to be prior to the 1940s, no? Maybe, could it be? They don't use dilly dilly, I think, after 1940, maybe, I don't know. Oh, you remember that? Oh, 1940. You do, uh, how about um, uh, Sentimental Journey? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a sentimental journey. Gonna set my heart at ease. Gonna take a sentimental
be waiting up for heaven Counting every mile of railroad track That brings me back Never knew my heart could be so yearning Why did I decide to run? Gonna take a sentimental journey Sentimental journey home Sentimental journey home Sentimental journey home Samba to do. Okay. I'm gonna try this one here. Um, gonna take. Um, um, let's get this set up for us here. Um, it's too bad I don't have a lot more time to practice because if I had a lot of time to practice, I'd get these things so crisp and so nice. But I guess this is the workshop part of it that I did a little bit, and I guess I'll have to just bring it in here. And well, a little bit is always good. Yeah. Sure. Okay. A little um, bit is better than nothing. That is true, little mama. <laughs> Let's see. Um, this is... This is a song called It Had Better Be Tonight, Meglio Stasera. And it's, um, oh, it was introduced, I think, by, uh, it was written by Henry Mancini. He wrote the music, 1962-ish. Uh, and I think it was, it was in the Pink Panther movie. Um, the Pink Panther and Fran Jeffrey sang it. Now, I like that there was two arrangements that I've heard before is that, that one. The Fran Jeffries one when she sings it in that movie, <laughs> and Clouseau is he's he's talking to he's talking to one of the uh, the helper inspector yeah. one of the one of the guys in the office and um, and then she starts singing and he says to her you're interrupting her song so he turns around and then he somehow gets pulled into this song it's a very funny uh, funny song it's on YouTube now. Michael Bublé does a version of this, and I like his version too. I, I borrowed a little something from it. There's another part in there that's a little more complex for me to play by myself and sing it, so I left it out. But I, um, I wanted the first part is the introduction from the Fran Jeffries one, so I'm going to try that out. Let's see here. Uh, if I might mess up, I may have to begin again or start from where I left off. Yeah. Make love star sing it up, baby. Go, go, go. Or as we native say, Basubito. You're ever gonna kiss me It has better be tonight While the mandolins are playing And stars are bright If you've anything to tell me It has better be tonight or somebody else may tell me and this perfect and whisper the words just right. Make los nacera, baby, go, go, go. Or as we natives say, basubito. You're ever gone. 
told me It had better be tonight Or somebody else may hold me And they might make it feel just right Go, Sasira, baby, go, 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 or as we natives say, Vasubito. For this poor Americano, who knows little of your speech? Be a nice Italiana and start to teach. Show me how in old Milano lovers hold each other tight. But I warn you, sweet paisana, if you hold better. It bet it had better be tonight. Make los casera, baby, go, go, go. Or as the natives say, understand exactly what you mean. <laughs> that was a song from one of my very special movies, you see. Right, right, that was, that was, yes. I'd like to see that. What? That part. That part? On YouTube. Yeah. Oh, it's a great little thing. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you do a lot of research. I don't want to get too excited, but she's got would a very pear-shaped thing. <laughs> Would you call what? yourself a, the consummate musician? The consummate musician? It just, it just came, I I wouldn't dare say such a thing. Is it a compliment? Is it a compliment? Yes, consummate. Cons, I'm a consomme musician. I make soup. <laughs> no. I a lot of soup. I put a lot of things together. No, I'm, like, I'm a consomme musician. I, oh, you are? Soup. Someone who couldn't quite finish consummate. <laughs> Katsume. I, I was just thinking that came into my mind. I try to do a lot of things, but I don't want to be... Have, can I have one request? What? I love when you do Spain. Oh, I didn't do the three Bond tunes. I got to do oh those. My I work God. so hard on my Bond tunes. All right, so don't leave, guys. He's got to do oh, the three Bond tunes. Please just stay for my three Bond tunes. And they have stories, little stories and stuff. All right, let me get oh, into this. Okay. Thing. All okay, right, well, I'm getting through these because they're very important to, to know all the Bond tunes that came before. And then when you hear the next Bond... You'll understand what led up to this. Right. Every composed years and years. I don't know how it was this. 20, 25 or 26 official Bond uh, movies. But there was a couple. I even included the movies that weren't part of the production company. That We'll get to those. Uh, cause some, actually, one of them is right here, I think. All right. So now we're on. This is called Mr. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Now, this is a story for this. There were supposedly, to my understanding, there were three singers who sent in uh, submissions. There were Shirley Bassey, Dionne Warwick, and Glenda Granger. You know Glenda Granger, who uh, I accompanied once here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, she really? sent in a bond, this bond tune, her uh -huh. version. I heard it was very, very nice. Mm -hmm. So I tried to, but I, I think Shirley Bassey got it, and I think she's, she did the actual, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's the kiss, kiss, bang, bang, with Shirley Bassey. I think it was her that sang it. All right, so here, I'll try my best to do this here. Okay. Uh. Uh. He's tall and he's dark, and like a shark, he looks for trouble. That's why the zeros double, Mr. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. He's suave and he's smooth 
and he can soothe you like no like vanilla the gentleman's a killer mr kiss kiss bang bang damsel all dam damoiselles and danger have filled the stranger's past like a knife he cuts through life and like Every day's his last. He's fast and he's cool, and from and he's from the school of love who that loves and leaves them, leaves them a pity if he if it grieves them. Mister Kiss Kiss Bang Bangs, not a fool. the bridge I'll skip that because it's gonna be three tunes here and then it goes uh oh, say something like that. Now I, I, I would think you know I, I that before they do anyone composes a bond tune they tell them what the movie's about and I'm sure they tell him tell them or whoever's writing the score to keep close to the to the chords the the Bond chords. So I can see that every song pretty much has that in common. Now this next one is one of my favorite songs. It's a Burt Bacharach tune. It was Dusty Springfield sang it, and it was in Casino, the first Casino Royale, which was like a spoof on James Bond. I don't, it's not even included, I think, because I don't think it was that company. I don't know if it's Eon, Ion. Anyway, so it wasn't that company, if I'm not mistaken. So now this is uh, the Look of Love, and she sang oh, it, and Peter song. Sellers was walking by this um, very funny scene. You can see that one on YouTube, too. He's walking by a, 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 a fish tank. And he hears this song. She, she starts singing. I don't know how it works, but whatever. I hear it. Let's see. Now, it follows the same chord pattern. I don't know if Burt Bacharach had this in mind, but yeah, let's see. Uh, I just stuck it in there because it felt like it fit. Sax solo in here. I think it's Stan Getz. I, I might think. I don't know why. And then also Herb Albert plays like a whole little uh, that that Tijuana brassy type thing. Ba -da, da -da. Really nice. All right, so that's a great tune. Now here's my last one for today. 
I'm going pretty fast. Okay, now this one. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, by Leslie Breek Cuse is the uh, is the lyric, and then music is by John Barry, 1967. This is uh, Nancy Sinatra sang this one. Um, it's called "You Only Live Twice," and James Bond was Sean Connery in this. Mm. Her name was Bond, James Bond. Uh, let's see here. If I get this right. Um, okay. What was that? It's all right. Next week we'll do the Louis Armstrong one. We have all the time in the world. And, uh, What's the name of that one? We have all the time in the world. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next week will be we all have all the time in the, in the world. Hopefully I'll have her on Her Majesty's Secret Service ready. I think, and uh, both those had George Lazenby as Bond, and then another Sean Connery is my one of my favorites. Diamonds are forever. You know, diamonds are forever. No. No, well, we'll get to I know it. diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Da, 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 play the rainbow. Men grow cold and girls grow old, but they won't leave their diamonds in the end. Do a poem tonight, but that's poem? okay. No, no, no. You don't want to do any poetry? No, I won't do poetry. Oh, some people like poems very much. Well, there's that one that I liked very much. But you don't have any. About, well, I have them all. There are one all here then. I guess it we can. Kind of feels like a little. Uh, what happened to? Uh, there's something big. Joy to the world. Oh, joy to the world. You want to do that one? Yes. Let's finish up with joy to the world. All right. All okay. right. Okay. Uh, Thank you all for coming. I hope you, you got up and danced a little bit and uh, ate a little bit, drank a little bit. Uh, do 
some Mad Lib. Do a skit, a quick skit. Let's see how you like it. <laughs> Can you improvise a skit? Well, I was in a, I was in a play. You were in a play. I was in a play, Crossing the Land. Say, I I played uh, Bubby, the grandmother, right. and my opening line was, "My granddaughter came to the house and she was actually pulling hairs out of my mustache okay. because that's what you get when you get older." I wasn't old when I did the part, and I said, "You're killing me! Yeah. You're killing me!" She was pulling, that's how the skit opened up. That was my first line, you're killing me.